theme park. That's what I want to see. Knights pick into theme park in their first playoffs appearance. Oh, it's a rush. Look at that. They're just going straight on inside. Sapper is the first in the building. Juicy caught with his pants down. There's a Rose hole into barrels, but the Knights have managed to maintain a man advantage and extending that now as Elevate try to harness this bombsite control with just two players left and attempted a retake from the Knights. Trying to swing on through Stiggs, takes out his teammate before taking down DCH, meaning it's just Sapper in the one versus three. A whole minute <gasps> left, make it a one on two. Very, very winnable. That's what we call this one. He's got to take these 1v1s, but I don't think Knights wants to let them be 1v1s. They're holding a really nice crossfire. Sapper has to play this flawlessly, but Quiz, the rookie on the roster, he steps up. And as that time ticks away, it makes you a little bit nervous watching Elevate. They're going to have to erupt and they're going to have to win a lot of these opening fights, but that does not happen. Juicy for two. And now it's a 5v2 now as Elevate start to recompose, get one back. But Juicy's in such a pivotal position, loses the fight. 20 seconds though as that timer ticks on down and Mark falls as well. It's only Mr. Punch. And he's got just about no HP to work with, desperately trying to tangle the ARX in these long lines of sight, but Knights are playing the crossfires perfectly. Quiz again. But they're going to have to punch on through the gas and take a chance here. They go down in the initial engagement. Sage gets the better of Mark. And now Onigiri on for the entry. He's found one from this position and looking for a whole lot more. Goes deep, looks for a plant position. Can't find anywhere safe. And he goes down. Now it's all on Mr. Punch. No time whatsoever. These pretty safe roamers. Oh. In goes on Agiri now. He might be able to make good on this. A player right on the other side of his wall. And Juicy finds the opener from inside of initiation. On Agiri trying to make an impact. He does get <gasps> two. All right. That's something. I'll take that one. It's suddenly a four versus two. Unwinnable now, surely. One. Didn't get any more. He's got some info. Oh, no, nah, not happening. There you go. Elevate finally get their first round on the board. Elevate have to use this man advantage to their advantage, and they do manage to further it just slightly. Juicy comes up for two big kills, and now it is all on Stiggs in the one versus two. Down from a 1v3 up to a 1v1. He's giving it a crack. Mark now counting the ticks. Stiggs does hold on, but Mark can deny it. They're going to have to use this man advantage that they have managed to establish for themselves and explode onto the site. But there are the two big S players on Knights, making it a three on three, and Juicy can just hold down with the LMG. It's all on Onigiri now, and uh, there's just a world ahead of him. A mountain to climb. It ain't happening, Knights. You don't want to waste those impacts because then when the shield does go down like this, Now's the time you want to use the impact. And there we go. And a squeeze of follow up. Oh, no. And Onigiri Wolf finds that excellent team play kill onto Juicy. Elevate can just hold down the line as Knights are forced to funnel. What a great flash, though, from Sage. The crossfire is there, and it's an easy uh -oh. mop up for Elevate. Uh -oh. Poor quiz. Look at that placement. This position that Sapper is playing on site as well is so powerful. But uh -oh. speaking of powerful, that's a nice spray. Wow, the trade does manage to land from quiz. He might not know it yet, but he did get the down. He seems convinced because he's no longer worried about the angle. Oh, he gets a double. sapper has been pretty good this game, but it's a tall order. No C4, electing to bring the bulletproof camera. Stiggs to close it out. The Knights, Elevate, have managed to handle this really well, but not for much longer. Look at that from Stiggs. Two versus three now for Elevate, and only 24 seconds left to go. And no Yokai drones for Sappa. Guns up. Oh, here for DCH! Elevate. DCH does find two, and now one versus two oh. for Sage. But DCH to find the final pick of the round. Gun up on that break room repel, and we'll find the round for Elevate. Oh, DCH, not again. He's prone in the corner, but Mark goes down. A two man advantage now for the Knights as they know exactly where DCH is playing, but they have to get rid of him. He is the pivotal player to step up, but no, he goes down. It's now Onigiri in a one versus four. He gets one player down, three more to find, but Stiggs can certify match point. This is not going to net anything for the Knights as two players go on inside. Desperately sprinting in, Sapper finds the first and the second. They have someone directly sitting in the bomb site. Someone sitting on this oh, or on this perfect. balcony as well.
well, but Sage is able to find that entry pick. DCH will trade back on Sage. Wow. With a run out, actually, from the from that break room, Appel said they will have to replace an attacker there as well. <laughs> but oh no! What? DCH, you with can't it? just run into a Claymore on the ground that's right in front of you. I mean, he shot a Claymore. Oh. Were there two? And he's found two kills now to bring his team back into it. There's Sapper. Sticks a 1v1, but Sapper to push into overtime. Invisible to the vertical game. Playing Furnace. Who is that in the corner? Sage, oh, no. but he loses to Splits. This has got to be Knights. They've got to make sure to not let Elevate get their first match point of the map. 3v2. That Diffuser nearly goes down. And now Knights managing the retake to recompose. A big final round. The two little extra ideas that they flirted with did not work out. And now it's just getting from bad to worse. For the Knights, as Elevate have recomposed even a shot through the floor for DCH. A one versus four for poor Josh. And that is probably, Mandy, the most dominant round we have seen. Only 30 seconds left to go, and they'll have to, I guess, flood and pins onto the site. Uh oh. Oh, Onigiri with the DMR. Now it's just Josh and Stinks. He pops the 20 bomb, but it is simply not enough. After four attempted match points, Knights stumble, capitulate at the final hurdle. It looks like Knights don't quite realize it may be a matter of time, and there you go. A nice pick for Sapper. Man advantage falls squarely into Elevate's favor, and Juicy is really feeling that pressure. Doesn't quite land the shot he needs to, and then is blown off the surface of the earth. Just quiz now, a 1v4 turned 1v3. Has a C4, could try and deny plant if he can get a position to, but Sapper is there. Mark now looks for the entry with Sapper to cover and only oh. 38 seconds left to go, but the entire bomb site is smoked out and that's the diffuser on the floor. Giving a chance now for Knights, but DCH is not done yet. He takes down Juicy and now looking for the entry as well is Sapper, but Josh, as he finds that first kill, looking for the second one, diffuser goes down. Oh, this is a bit too close for comfort, but the duo does get it done in the end. A lot of damage done to Onigiri, who does manage to find that opening kill. Stig's now really feeling that pressure, finds Mr. Wow. Punch, and now Sapper goes in, looking for this pick once again, and Sage does fall. As the timing comes out from Onigiri, timing his push with Sapper. Knight's gonna try and deny this plant with the C4 from Juicy. He goes over and it gets stuck, oh. but it does bait out DCH. If only Quiz was alive to deny with the C4, it might oh. be something, but it just is not there. Elevate. Elevate now getting the bomb down on the Sage. Sage looks for the retake, but has no idea that Sapper is hiding in the corner, ready to cut him off. You manage a 20 bomb on the first map. Can you manage a one versus five in 20 seconds? He does get the first. I mean, he's good, but I don't think anyone is good enough to one versus five elevate in a post plant like that. And Onigiri hasn't managed to find an early pick, so showing signs from the Knights, but I jinx it completely uh -oh. as DCH finds the pick and it is now keyed in to make sure he doesn't get killed from this vertical. I mean, this really just feels oh, like no. the same round again, doesn't it? Elevate are so good on these attacks. And that is five for five plants confirmed. Ooh. No, it's not. I spoke too soon. A C4 to deny. And now Elevate. Well, they have plenty of time to work with here. Have Knights got anything else going for them now that Josh is shut down? It's just Sage on left and with the pistol, he does not. 45 seconds left to go for Elevate, but they have the players that they need. They have the man advantage. Wait a second, a chance here now, but DCH goes and shuts them down. Look at that double. As that plant begins to go down, he sees the injured player, finishes him off. A 1v1, can you believe that Sapper sticks that, but Stinks wins the clutch. And Knights finally! Elevate still with all five players up. Mark to be the first point of contention here. Oh. Attack, but Josh gets the better of him. Looking for a second now. You simply do not have to let go of a left click. But Onigiri with the wall bang. Knights an opportunity now as they make it a three on two. Sage has to force this plan down. It's just Onigiri left and he is swiftly dealt with. The Knights show that they can bring the fire on their attack as well. And Elevate actually fall back 
and reinforce over this elbow position. Managed to get a kill with it, two kills with it, and retain pillar control. Mark has been so damn good, and he's hungry for more. He finds the triple kill, looking for the fourth, and a flawless round for Elevate, thanks to this man right here. That D4 cam is still up. No Claymore, nobody watching. Mark, he finds the spray down. What is that? And now it looks all but inevitable for Elevate to take it to match point and no hope. Surely for this round, Elevate on the back of another huge play from Mark. They just want to breach the main wall, and Josh has been down, but not our Stiggs has not checked the player at top main. DCH is surely going to find that pick, but no. No, it's fine. Two picks they probably shouldn't have. There's no doubt about it, man. But walking on through, Mr. Punch managed to get a free kill. No trade yet from the Knights, but eventually they do get him. It's all on Mr. Punch. This has got to be a 1v3. Feeling the pressure, though, he goes down. On a Geary, holding on as long as he can, but the man of the hour has got to be Sapper to prone in the corner. And wait, <gasps> he finds Josh. He's not good for another one, though. But Elevate have managed to maintain a 3v3. It's an execute for Knights in the 2v1. But that Diffuser is on Quiz, and he's got to plant it. There's no hope now. Mr. Punch in the 1v1, and Elevate can dismiss the Knights. They punch their ticket forward to face Talon for a spot at the Major. Elevate not capitulating under that pressure, not falling apart with that first pick from the Ying.